ordinary goods and the given goods as we know that the consumer demand of a commodity it depends upon the price of the good the price of the other good and other certain factors of the preferences and then the income of the consumer so it means whenever there will be change in any of these factors the consumer demand it will vary so the relationship between the quantity demanded of a commodity and with its price that will be expressed in the law of demand and as per the law of demand this relationship will be negative when we take the behavior of the various commodities related to the change in the price we come up that every commodity is not going to follow this principle rather there can be the variation to this expression so when we explain that if in a consumption bundle the price of a commodity one it changes or we say that it decreases then what will be the questions that we are going to face with the increase or the decrease the price of good one while we are going to keep the price of the commodity two constant and the income of the consumer constant so we are discussing only one change that is either decrease or either increase in the price of commodity one then what will happen to the quantity demanded of that good and what will happen with the commodity demanded of the other good so what will happen to the quantity demanded with increase or the decrease when we study this we come up with the two types of the commodities one that is called ordinary good ordinary goods will be those goods that are going to follow the law of demand means whenever the price of that commodity it increases consumer decreases its consumption or in other way we can say jab bhi us commodity ki keemat kam hoti hai consumer usko zyada khareed karta hai so as per the law of demand that is very normal or the routine matter and all those commodities jo is behavior ko follow karengi hum un tamam commodities ko ordinary goods kahenge and aur yahan pe agar hum dekhein to as compared to the uh, change in the price कमोडिटीज जो है वो नेगेटिव डिमांड कर को शो करेंगे नेगेटिव फ्लो तो व्हेन वी एक्सप्लेन दिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द ग्राफ वी सी दैट नाउ द कंज्यूमर इज हैविंग वेरियस इन डिफरेंस कर्व बंडल एंड अवेलेबल टू देम इफ वी सी दैट द कंज्यूमर वाज हैविंग दिस ओरिजिनल बजट लाइन एंड विद दिस ओरिजिनल बजट लाइन दैट वी नोट है we tell this as budget line 1 and we see that now the commodity of x axis 1 its price has decreased so with the decreased price now the consumer will have this much level of the slope that will be less that will be more than this original price so when there will be the more slope the consumer will have now the flatter type of the budget curve and with this flatter budget line now the slope changes with the change in the slope of the budget line now the consumer is having the capacity to have a higher level of the optimal bundle because the slope of budget line has to be equal with the slope of the indifference curve so whenever the slope of budget line it will increase we can expect now that the consumers demand will increase and any commodity that will exhibit this type of the behavior that will be called the ordinary good so in this form we see that the change in the price and the change in the quantity demanded they both go in the opposite direction now if we see that there are certain other goods 
that they behave differently than these goods they are called giffen goods in the name of the economist who explored this behavior a scottish economist robert giffen he expressed that there are the certain commodities whose demand not only increases with the increase in their price rather their demand decreases with the decrease in the price that is very astonishing for the economist it means there are the certain commodities that the consumer they are already purchasing so whatever their price is going to increase they must have to purchase or we can say that their importance increases in the eye of the consumer so consumer they purchase more and more sir robert when he was studying he saw that the consumers when they were purchasing certain amount of the food there was a potato or the wheat and the rice like this if the price of that commodity it increased it was expected now that the demand for those commodity it will be decreased rather consumers keeping in view the rise in price got a caution and they increased its demand so any commodity that will exhibit this type of the behavior that will be called the giffen goods and when we explain this in the form of the graph we see that with the increase in the price now the consumer is going to increase its demand and the people that will shift their behavior like exhibited in the graph and when we see on the budget lines now we see that with the price has decreased for a commodity and now when the price of x1 has decreased consumers budget line has shifted from this original budget line and now with the different slope now the new budget line is this that is the budget line 2 so now with the increased slope of the budget line we should expect that the consumer will shift from this point a to this point b but rather consumer shifted its purchase from this point to this actual b and if we join these two we see that is the backward bending so in this way the reduction in the commodity of the good x1 is expressed so consumer they prefer to purchase commodity x1 when it price was original but at the same time when its price increased consumer didn't reduce its consumption rather they increased in the consumption bundles so for the given goods price and the quantity demanded they go both in the same line having the positive relationship and where there are the various examples that we can have explanation in the this type of the graph 